it runs the rogue synapse. The last time we have been here was about an hour ago, and apparently my CPU may have reached boiling. So this is Ben Sala, and we should actually collect some have quests. Have you been assaulted too? Um, no. I've been assaulted. Really? But I managed to escape to town. So I see. What are you going to do next? Well, I'm going to stay here. I already talked to Julio. He stays, I can stay. Can we trade? I am inconsolable, father of transactions. But those pillaging nomads robbed me of everything. And then there were all those undead out of the blue. It was horrible. They all fought, and so I got out of there as fast as I could. Get on with it. If you are a brave man, bring back my goods. Is it me, or does right. he look like a little Good alien? Today. There are eight crates. I think I wrote my name. I mean, look at the way that he moves his arms. And where his head sticks out. We may be achieving better frame rates in Gothic what 3 now as want? well. Have you come to pillage here? If so, you're too late. What happened? Ever since the undead appeared, we've had looters in the area. So, what do you want? I have come to fight the undead. If that is indeed true, you are a brave man. Let me know if you need a weapon, and go talk to Daro. If anyone knows what's going on, it's him. Can I help you? This minor problem of the undead has completely shut down our work. Most of the blacksmiths are dead, and I need more steel. Steel, you say? Yes, the shipments from the tunnels. You want to help me? Bring me six crates of steel, then. Okay, so one of them wants their goods from the road, which is somewhere on the road. The other one wants steel from the tunnels. Ooh. At least the water's basin's nice looking. Why have you come to this wretched place? How are things? Most of the city's right fighters have fallen, and the rest of them up and fled. Cowards of men. I don't know what that I dude is doing. Benarai. Once we learned what was going on here, we hurried to help. But and whatever he's missed. doing, he's doing it wrong. Enough dead already. I will not risk my people's lives for an attack. We will protect this city for as long as we can. That is our job. Okay, he stopped doing whatever he was I doing. Help. I sent a few men up the mountain. They never came back. Go and see whether any of them are still alive. They raided tunnels as well. The slaves never stood a chance. You had better prepare well so that you will stand a chance. Let me know if there is anything else I can show you. I'm going to take care of that mountain. Be careful, son of boldness, and look out for my scouts. I'm gonna have a look at the tunnels. There are two tunnels in the mountain. One of them is directly behind the city. The other one is further east. Take care of yourself. Okay, so the tunnels are also overrun with the undead. And I remember the last time when I talked with them. They were like, clean out the tunnels before you go and, you know, do the temple, so whatever. So out tribute to Zuban for years, and then what? A few guys who think they are all so smart open up the Great Temple. They open the Great Temple and bring down the wrath of Beliar on all of us. Now I get to pay tribute for the rest of my life to make up for this disaster. Excuse me for being so upset, son of pluckiness, but I find this matter truly distressing. So I noticed. What exactly happened here? It was Bazir. That son of a thief opened the temple. Is that all? He had five keys. Beliar knows where he dug them up. He wanted the divine artifact and promised treasures to his men. Their eyes were sparkling with greed. 
But Bazir betrayed them all in the end. How can I help? Will you listen to that? He fights his way through to us and asks how he can help. That is the bravery of a man who fears no peril. It is a true hero speaking. Dad, somebody just hungry for XP. I implore you, save my city. Slay the undead. Do whatever it takes to lift this curse from us. That's not a tall order at all. I am sure he will be able to tell you more. But there is another important issue. A business deal that was entrusted to me. Tell me about this deal. We got ten ore blanks. A delivery from the orcs. They were destined for Ishtar, but they have been stolen. But I know who the thief is, and I want him to be punished for his nefarious deed. Let him die of thirst under Inos's scorching curse. Let the vultures feast on his eyes. Yeah, yeah, I get the point. I'll see to it. Who is he? Sugat, one of our own people. The traitor. May Beliar's furious wrath overtake him. Tell me more about Bazir. He's paying a high price for the divine artifact. All those who entered the temple are dead. But his business is not finished yet. Beliar is furious. You mean... Yes, Bazir deserves to die. Can you tell me Sugit's whereabouts? He left the city in the direction of Benarai, and he was not alone. What about the ore blanks? If you find them, pick them up. Keep them safe and take them to Ishtar. Not alone? There was another fellow with him, but I could not make out who he was. But when you find him, make him pay for this crime as well. First of all, I need to find him. No, first of all, you would need some sort of identity, unless, of course, you want to kill absolutely everyone and everything. Which I don't actually object to that much, but... Doesn't sound very, like, the very intelligent thing to do. Unless you really, really like slaughtering people, in which case I can't... Can't object to that. Oh! You came from nowhere. Well, that's not true. He's probably coming from the road, but... Still, I haven't seen him approach. Ooh, ooh teleporter stone. Those are always all good. that half the town seems to be missing. You showed him. Zombie. And that's another mummy. Eat dust. Okay. It's dust tasty. Where are you going? Why are you going backwards? Why am I asking all of these questions? I mean... Clearly I'm gonna stop going backwards. Because it's just a thing that you do in free time. But it's gonna be very annoying when I need to find you in order to complete my quests. Well, thankfully a lot of quests complete automatically. 
still hearing some yelling. That's a bit concerning. Because I don't actually know where it's coming from. And I don't think that the game will let me sleep unless everybody stops yelling like crazy people. Oh, one guy's back to sitting, so... That's a good sign, right? Oh, look, there's even a dead zombie inside this hut. It's truly the zombie apocalypse, except everyone ran in the wrong direction and went somewhere far away. And I may actually need to locate them at some point. That doesn't sound amazing, but... Besides that, yeah, still got things to do. <clears throat> For example, help them out to clear the tunnels? Because they are already clearing the tunnels. Seems that they have started while I was asleep. You're so inclined to help, though. Who am I to stop you? In fact, I'll bring out more things to help against. That's a contagious mummy. I'm bringing some more. Yeah, making me dirt. That zombie's blocking from the wrong side. That's amazing. Perfect. Now they're all up in here. One of them quite far in, actually. It's making really weird noises. Um. These slaves were like really good at fighting, so that's pretty nice. I meant not for us, but still pretty amazing. I am also getting XP as they actually do manage to kill things, so it seems. Oh, that's the end of this tunnel. This was to be expected. Another one of those annoying bulls. I see the interesting bit is that normally I'm the one that has Keep to around here like that, Mora. Lure things towards infestations. This is the first time that they have voluntarily gotten themselves into the place that was being attacked somehow. And has fully cleared out a tunnel for me. I mean, there's still a second tunnel, but... This one's is now, like, perfectly empty. And the second tunnel is either to southwest or to the east, depending on whether or not you believe the voiced log or the written log when it comes to quests.
It's a skeleton. More vein. We may as well collect. Nothing more to be had there. Nothing else in here. Yes, I think this is the... Blacksmith supplies, I want to guess. I hope he's still in this station, actually. If there's one thing that I don't want to do, is to try and locate a blacksmith. Or I have one thing I'm pretty sure that I'll have to try and locate literally everything else. Considering that one guy just kind of wandered off backwards and... I don't know what happened with the rest. I wish I could give that settlement that wanted bread some bananas instead. There's most definitely some bananas in here. Come on, kitten. Go somewhere. There we go. Now, there is another tunnel somewhere. And there's also some people wandering in the mountains. And I'm gonna say that seeing undead is a good indication that there's... Out of those people somewhere close to the tunnel somewhere close because there's a lot of undead in the tunnel. They also seem to be just really good at sword play with non swords. See that? It's like relentless. It was a lot easier when the whole village literally was helping me. Is this one of your guys? No, that's one of the undead. Suppose I'm just about far enough for them to be alert, but not really care about me. That's a tree. I thought maybe that was like a little temple or something. We are looking for another cave entrance.
If the cave entrance is not towards all of that undead, I have no idea where it's gonna be. Because that is a lot of undead. You don't just unleash a horde of zombies unless there's something to find there. Otherwise, that would be a very pointless horde of zombies. Oh no, one of them is named the Restless Scout. That's not good. Means that I might have found my scouts that disappeared in the mountains somewhere. This is a mountain. here just to kill the scouts. Maybe that tunnel wasn't here after all. As always, they're like super amazing at combat. Because why wouldn't zombies be? Another restless scout. Yeah, I'm beginning to think that there is no tunnel in here, but there are some restless scouts that I was supposed to be on the lookout for. Well, I was supposed to be on the lookout for people specifically, but they're not very much people at the moment. to ask just how many people he sent up the mountain because there's a lot of zombies in here wonder how do we recognize that they're scouts by their freshness Just one more. Should be able to beat him up without dying. Yep. That was all the scouts, alright. I'm not entirely certain where the last tunnel is supposed to be, though. Don't suppose it's on top of the mountain. Uh. 
I'm, I'm gonna blame them having the low ground. Because anything that's low is really, really hard to hit. So it's not the high ground that you want in this game. A few more zombies. At least the mountain's nice and clear together with one of the tunnels. I'll need to figure out where the second one is, but why use healing items when you can just repeatedly sleep? Is this likely the wrong direction? Enzo's finally coming back. Well, that's nice. That looks like a hole, and each hole can be a cave, and we are looking for a cave. A cave full of undead, to be specific. Is this the right cave, or is this just a cave? You're gonna get it. Oh no no, this is like a rebel cave, which is the really odd. Do you realize that you're like around the city that has... Um... Undead? Ah. Oh. You probably do, don't you? That's probably why you're here. Ah. I have feet in my face. Ah. Thankfully, live people are easier to kill than dead people. Unless, of course, they're well armored and have shields. I don't like that. Okay, though, his buddy kind of waited for me to be finished with his buddy. <laughs> Save... <laughs> Zombie Liu Kang. Now... Dear Restream chat, please reconnect YouTube again because you keep on doing this! Keep on forgetting to actually announce to me that I have comments. Which I hate. There was something 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 about new Restream software. There's so much feet on my face! Hello, Dan. The feet just never stop. On the upside, at least my CPU is no longer on fire. So that's nice. person ever that I meet is better at swordplay than I am. Stop right there. Oh, well, I am very stationary at the moment. I'll say that I haven't stopped. It's just that you're very polite and you wait for me to not be in my inventory screen.
They are the robbers, though. By logic, there should be merchant supplies somewhere inside their cave. It's not the cave that I wanted to find, but it's one of the cave that we needed to find anyway. So it's okay. Reminds me a lot of the... Rebels caves. I suppose all the caves are just kinda samey. It has, like, properly the exact same layout. That's two chests of goods. I hope that we have a quest that identifies just how many chests of goods we're supposed to find. Because it's always easier if you actually have a number. So number six, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, but I think that's what we have. I don't know, we have eight chests of goods and three heavy chests. Okay, eight crates, six crates of steel, I so, found, so far found three. Which would make sense, considering that I found two- one out of two tunnels. Thought that this might be our undead tunnel, but no! This is a robber tunnel. Uh, it might be safe to say that whatever, wherever the tunnel is, it's not towards this side. And if it's not towards this side, then it's likely directly opposite. There's like a little plateau in here. Ooh, undead! Ooh, plateau with undead. Plateau with undead in a cave? Maybe? Ooh. Yeah, I forgot, I can't arrow skeletons. Arrows do nothing to skeletons. <laughs> Hello! Okay, I'll save. Is it because whatever's in front of me? I imagine that whoever that man is, that's not a nice man. At least I can navigate fairly freely in here. Uh. Only I could actually arrow skeletons, that would make this a lot easier. I swear, that one's just trolling now. That or he was going somewhere. <laughs> ah, 
Ah! I can see why I may have wanted to save. Unless, of course, I friggin' love being frozen. I mean, stick combat is not my favorite, but freaking beats getting frozen. <coughs> oh my! Ah! Oof. Could I take on the skeleton first? Would help. It does insist on ranging me, though. We're guessing my CPU is overheating significantly. We managed to reduce its temp, at least temporarily. Maybe permanently. Hoping that it's permanent. reached zero health, so that was interesting. <laughs> uh, it's a small weak fan, it's kinda dusty, we even- we don't even have thermal paste. Um, my husband managed to clean it out, um, with a ear cleaning thing. Yeah, that is just my computer dying, don't mind it. Took like an hour to sort, and it wasn't me sorting it, I took a nap. CPU, we think, overheated. I've been having... Um... Dream explodey issues for two days now. But it's fine. It's kind of hot. It makes my computer explode. But that's okay. Cooler on where? I mean, on the CPU it works. My husband cleaned it out with a ear cleaner. I might- I could use a bigger fan, but at the same time we have absolutely no cooling inside the house. So it makes the house, like, really, really warm in summer. And that's part of the problem! Jesus, whatever that undead mage is, it's powerful. Mm. 
They kind of numbed my feet, which isn't great. <laughs> yeah, we don't even have a USB fan. It's like we're completely unprepared for a summer existing. Enjoying himself. Ah, there we go. I was like, do you think he's gonna stop throwing cold shit at me or nah? <laughs> well, we do have two fridges. <laughs> Yeah, perfect weather for the desert segment. Eh? Maybe I should get to Nordmar in actual winter. No, no, no. What? Oh, vo 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 <sighs> Undead high priest that can heal himself. Fantastic. Really? Really? And that high priest that can heal himself that will kill you while having one HP. Best kind of undead priest. Other undead priests probably want to learn from this guy. I'd like to reach a mint. <laughs> Yes, the final boss in the desert. Just wandering about. <laughs> Can we not do stick combat, please? At least not be so good at it. I swear, I'm not even the half a stick fighter that you are. <clears throat> Did I just manage to put my weapon away? No, no, no. <clears throat> oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Not this time. Not ever again. And you didn't even have anything nice on you. Oh, damn you. the tunnel or is it just another random bunch of zombies in the middle of the desert? Okay, it's a bunch of random mummies in the middle of the desert. Not that much better. I mean, they're slightly tougher. The same concept.
Well, I found one of the two tunnels at One-Eyed King. Plus a robber tunnel. <laughs> I'm now missing the last remaining real tunnel. And I mean, if we kill the homeless undead priest, we may as well just kill these mummies too. Also, I gotta say, thank you all for being here. Because I always go live at almost random times. Because I'm always late to my own streams and then pe you just arrive. <laughs> Which is really nice. Hmm. It's a really nice mint. There's at least some flowers around the zombies, so at least I got something. Aw, oh, poor mummy. It was like... A million arrows inside them. In your place. I'm kind of jealous. I wish it was raining outside. It would be a bit cooler. It's like 24 degrees outside, but it got to like 28 degrees inside. So my CPU didn't like that. <laughs> Do you normally go out when it's not raining? <laughs> Um, well, thank you for spending your Saturday night with me. It could be, for example, playing games right now instead. Um. There's two random Zimbambos in the middle of the desert. I am at such a bad angle right now. He had the advantage and still died. Forty Celsius degrees just sound like death. It's twenty-four, and I consider that quite hot. <laughs> and you're like, ah, oh, it's it's night time. It's just nice, forty degrees. Oh, well, I'm hoping that your work is at least allowing you to have a bit of a break. I hate overtime with a passion. Yeah, you see, UK tends to have cool summers in general. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> okay. Less slipping, more zombie killing. At least I located the other cave! I found it! <laughs> uh, I can't imagine it. Tad cold. 40 degrees. Does that mean that your daytimes are like 60? Does that literally feel like setting on fire when you step outside? Hey, there's a lot of zombies that way, and B, I'm hearing moaning out of my left ear. Ah, oh, that would be where it's coming from. That does make some sense. Oh. Oh, Jesus. I am so sorry. Uh... Uh, you had a crate of steel, so I maybe I'm less sorry now. I need those for the blacksmith. France entered 45 during the heat wave. UK was like low 30s, and yeah, I didn't like that. Okay, one of them is low health. I only need to identify with that one. 
I was considering moving to Iceland. It, it seemed cooler. It was getting to like 16 degrees. 16 to 20 degrees. <laughs> during a heat wave. Alternatively, we could just get an AC unit. But the, the place isn't ours. And you don't install an AC unit to other people's places. Ooh, a cursed slave! <laughs> well, I'm, I'm still practically the same color. For paleness? I, I, th I think they just... They're just really good at staying out, you know, not in the sun. It's, it's not that their country is actually cold. Um, another pole that just likes to swear. We had a few of those. I am so sorry, Slave. I, I legit am trying to kill everything that is not you. You just... You get in the way. And bad things happen. I am so sorry. Now you're off to fight all... Have, have at it? I mean, if you're so inclined to fight that horde over there, who am I to stop you? <clears throat> Thankfully, I didn't contract anything from that, but at the same time, that is, was also not a mummy. That was just a cursed slave. I don't think I was ever a friend of that slave, but... You know. It's just, I, I swing it and things get hit. Things that I intend to hit, things that I do not. Nice to see that some of them were on low health. With such a horde though, at some point I should probably switch to better arrows. Otherwise, I will just be shooting at them for like the next five million years. Um, actually, actually, nearly the whole of them are heading directly for the village. <laughs> Which is quite convenient. I will stop that beast of learn. See? See? <laughs> Very convenient. Another one of those annoying beasts. <laughs> I wouldn't call this an annoying beast. I would say that this is a full-on zombie apocalypse, but okay. <laughs> Suppose zombies are a tiny bit annoying, aren't they? And they are bestial in some way. Pelier is waiting for you! For me? For the zombies? For what? <laughs> Gotta say, this village is very convenient. You show the end of your miserable beast. Put you guys took here. care of the rest? Of cool. Now the real question is, how many of them are inside the cave? <laughs> For that was just the infestation on the outside! Also, if any of them still had some weapons. Aww. That's a shame. I bet my internet is at least partly to blame. Thank you. I sometimes say inflammatory things, just a warning. They're not like super inflammatory, but they're somewhat inflammatory. 
We're down to two zombies outside and one's crawling out now. Doesn't a lot of places have weird sun patterns right now? I mean, at least they're cold. Okay, death to all zombambos. So that's... that's a few. <laughs> ah, thank you! I think I only ever had like two Patreons. Oh, whenever that music kicks in, I'm so surprised, I'm like, what happened? Oh god, that actually means that at winters, you have like no sunlight at all. I don't think I could deal. Ooh. That was actually everything that was in those tunnels. Well, that... I mean, the village came in use. <laughs> you don't have to be. <laughs> but thank you for good vibes and thank you for your munmuns and thank you for just hanging out in general. It's always nice. In fact, that's all I really need, just people hanging about, because that's nice enough. And I also need a job, but it's not like any of you are in Manchester and could employ me part-time. <laughs> okay, that's two gold vein- ooh. That's a nice breastplate. The helmet kind of makes me think that we're in Skyrim a tiny bit. But yeah, that village really came in useful because apparently we cleared out the full cave. So the full cave was just hanging about outside. Which reminds me of State in Decay a little bit, where just... Sometimes a building gets infested and then at some point the Zumbambos sometimes get bored and just kinda... ...wander off and then the building's not infested anymore and you're like, well hey, that took care of itself. I mean, there's now a horde walking around, but... No more an infested building! At the very worst case scenario, I can sell this ores for money, so they're worth it. Ooh. I... I should have my notebook open. Uh, the, the taxi document? Taxi document where you put down text. I, I need to remember some names. And I have absolutely no memory of my own. Well, I kind of promised to do a full... Pirate Piranha Bites games for... Victor, so that's what I'm currently doing. Then there's gonna be KOTOR and KOTOR 2. I think they're called KOTOR. I don't mean the MMO, I mean like... Star Wars-y... First... Third... RPG... Person-y games. <laughs> and... Um... And, and then I, I can probably get that and play that as well. I, I just like write down all the games, but then I get slightly sidetracked. It should be all of your crates. All of your crates. You are truly a hero. Thank you very much. I am truly a hero. Now we can get down to business. Let's get Show down to your... business. Actually, let's just let's just check what you have. I can never have enough of that, and I like meat. Yeah, I know. Unfortunately, the only thing that I know about it is that there's an upcoming Lord of the Rings MMORPG and that one already existed, but that's not the upcoming one because they haven't really announced a lot of details. <laughs> it's 
so that you can take my notes from I just have a really long like info.txt document I've got the steel that you wanted thank you this is a good omen things are picking up again here take this as a token of my gratitude I like tokens I like gratitudes but now the biggest issue okay is okay we have Darrow in here but there was another dude, and I believe he was named Enzo. And the last time I saw him, it was returning from having his crab walk, like, backwards. For, like, half a century that way. But that's not even, like, a distance measurement. That's a time measurement. But it kind of portrays just how far he went that way. And I saw him coming back. I, I hope, I hope that... That he actually came back. The tunnels are free once again. Great. We owe you our gratitude, father of bravery. Sometimes I'm the son off. The other times I'm like the father off. So that's interesting. Your men are dead. I have set them free. Damn that undead spawn. Will this madness never end? What about the temple? That's where the disaster started. That's where the source of evil is. <laughs> But nobody in their right mind would Catelyn hangs out They're here every single day, so either the they're really like getting bored, or I don't believe right. you. You won't have to enter the temple by yourself. But first, the surroundings must be safe. What about the temple now? This is a dangerous venture. If anyone can pull it off, you can. Go see Dalak. He will accompany you. Okay. We, we did a lot of things. I don't know if we did absolutely everything, but we did do a lot of things. Okay, there's a few more people that we have to kill in general, but at least we delivered all the boxes. <laughs> um... I feel like I don't provide enough of something else for people to flock to me for that reason. Unless, of course, he really enjoys company. <laughs> it's just the way that I am. I can't... I can't, um... Put on a fake personality? <laughs> if that means that nobody will ever watch me, then so be it. But we're, we're just we're just here to have a great time and kill some things. So let's save. And apparently, this is the person that will accompany me to the giant undead building. What are you doing here? I brought some gifts for the Hashishan. Pieces of raw ore, ore from the fires of Nordmar. I was going to get an artifact from the temple in return, but it was stolen. Stolen by stupid, greedy Moras. Where's the temple? I think it's like the giant building in front of this town. I think, and, and there's like a lot of zombies that way, so I think that would be a good guess. What are you going to do now? What do you think, Mora? We are going to watch the city. Help me defeat the undead. You know, the bad thing about that is that she actually sold all the water. Just read whatever you can. Imagine what a great business venture that is. Though some people kind of drank it and got poisoned, so there's that too. I mean, I'm pretty sure she added, I do not drink, this is bath water, but... Suppose next thing is to sell your toenail clippings. What can I do to make you trust me? I trust none but Darrow. He's a good fighter. He's got honor. If he trusts you, then I will go to the temple with And Darrow just told me that I can take you to the temple with me. Darrow trusts me. So come fight on my side. You have proven your worth, Laura. We will go to the temple and fight the damned. But we aren't going inside. Morris have started this mess. Morris will end it. You give the sign, and then we leave. <laughs> Let's attack the temple, now. It's a good day to die. Let's How does one actually start a cryptocurrency? Because it's essentially... 
not a currency. It's non-existent money. I think I got in your way and that made you turn around. That's not great. Even with Bitcoin, it is exchanged for the work that somebody's GPU done at some point for some odd reason. Making it as vague as possible and as infinite as it needs to be. Meaning it's not really a great currency. <laughs> it's not like there's finite Bitcoin floating around, you can just make some. Oh, nice orky porkies just kind of marching towards all the undead. There's three over there. Oh, that's a tree. I thought that that was a giant undead. Another one of those annoying beasts. Oh. That was hell of a expensive Bitcoin mining you did there. To actually blow up your computer. I don't stress my hardware unless I need to. It's... It's bad enough that it's hot in here and that my hardware doesn't like that. Yeah, making me dirt. Can you like not? That's one less. At least he let you keep it. Stop right there, Mora. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness that they launched themselves into that because that guy was so sad on just chasing me for all eternity. He wasn't even angry with me. I mean, he's still not even orange. Okay, Zimbambo went flying. Another Zimbambo over here. Let's make sure not to hit the cool orky porkies that are helping us kill Zimbambos at some point. At some point we'll have to murder most of them, but that point is not right yeah, now. It's making me dirt. Don't creep around here like that, Mora. I'm I'm not trying, I'm just trying to collect me loot. They're just having such a casual stroll towards all the undead. Another one of those annoying beasts. <sighs> I wish that I could have taken more of the village with me. <laughs> it's just that they rhyme. It's just, you know, a bit of orky porky. Okay, there's two that are dead set on me. But the rest are on them. It's great. Perfect. I don't really like fighting the undead, so I don't mind. Well, I like fighting, but I don't like to be the only one fighting. <laughs> Out of that, or you could infer that orcs are very tasty and... Kinda like, you know, bacon. But unfortunately, the game doesn't let you eat orc. Which is kind of sad. I mean, one of them was able to self-heal, but I don't think I can heal my enemies. They must all be killed. I am not gonna object to the they must all be killed statement because they are dead. That's one less. Oh, 
I'm gonna take some more Kugels at some point I'm all gonna sell them all Unfortunately, most of the vendors don't really have what I want to buy, which is mostly healing items. I think the entrance is there on the side. Another one of those annoying Kitty beasts. foot on my face. <laughs> I, I think I hit the orc more than I did the zombie. <laughs> well, thank you for pledging. Please tell me if you have like special requirements at some point. I think Victor wouldn't mind if I took a break like after Gothic 3 with the expansion. I think the expansion itself is like six hours and it's like a standalone game. Apparently it's kind of worse than this though. <laughs> Ah! Don't do that. Stop walking towards me, attack the orkies. Thank you. No, bad zombie, ignore me. That's another one. Oh, fair enough. How long is it? Because I've seen people complain about the length of it. I've also seen people tell me that there is a lot of naked penises. I don't know how true their sayings are. <laughs> ah. Well, thank you. You mean the problem is that it's... Really, really, really horrible? Because I've heard that it's pretty horrible. <laughs> At least to get through. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I've located the entrance, because otherwise why would there be three zombies in that direction? Four zombies! Five zombies! Oh no, one is a skeleton with a... Crossbow. Oh, that arrow just went somewhere. Oh, hey, look, um, battle music died. Ah, <laughs> uh, can you climb down the mountain? Okay, you guys are trying. Good. Ah, uh, yes! I believe I just found the entrance. Uh, but I'm determined to do them all, including Arcania, and all the Risens, and Alex. Though, depends if my system will blow up, Alex is kind of modern, I mean, I managed to stream Vampyr before, but I don't think I had my camera on for Vampyr, so hopefully, hopefully, it doesn't explode. Hello! All of you. I have to make sure that my orcs do not retreat prematurely. And naked people, including naked men. I have heard that. Ah! This thing is kind of walking towards me. Kind of fast, actually. I think he's walking towards faster than I can walk. That's unfair. Okay, now he's kind of gotten stuck. I like that a lot more. Oh, that's not good. He's lower than I am. Ah! Oh, oh god. 
Um, I hope I saved there. I mean, not before killing the temple guardian, but around that place in general. Yeah, don't mess with things if you have the high ground in this game. That is the one thing that I have learned. Another one of those annoying beasts. Oh, okay. You you just go on full on run. Oh, that sounds amazing. I am getting poisoned. But at the same time, my orc friends are currently fighting the undead. So the longer I stay in here while being poisoned. The less fighting I will have to do. Weird logic, I know. Hope that his poison does wear off. Oh god. Ah yes, it just wore off. There's more zombies incoming. At least they're now handling the temple guardian. I think. Either way, the Temple Guardian is stuck somewhere up there. <gasps> Not anymore! <laughs> I have heard that Arcania's story is slightly atrocious. But I also found some people that honestly like it. I can see Ice Mage shit. I don't like that. Okay, that's another one of them undead priests. They must all be killed. They're now battling the undead priest for me. This is this is great. <laughs> they also didn't want to help me that much, I think. I I think that they're currently just doing this because there's a lot of Enemies coming out of that place. Are there people that genuinely enjoy mosquitoes? I mean, spiders are alright. Whoa. Hello. You're thankfully kinda slow, so I got to notice you. Senpai noticed you, aren't you happy? Now you just have a lot of arrows sticking out of your chest. I mean, there's nothing wrong with spiders. It's a lot grosser when my cats eat the spiders. <laughs> I mean, the last time my cat saw one on the wall, it was like a tiny one. And he jumped up and he just went squish, so there's like a spider death stain. Around. <clears throat> it's more than bland, I think. It's kind of lame. <clears throat> oh, yeah, they're small and fast. <clears throat> <laughs> Suppose we're getting that undead priest down together. Ones. I think it's the Australian ones that you should fear.
Would you like something? <clears throat> yeah, making me dirt. I, I think they're gonna end up just crafting you a whole bunch of gear. Oh. Hunting spider, you say? That's... That doesn't sound nice. Wait! Is that like a cemetery? Did they- are they now attacking the whole cemetery for me? I mean, they did say that they're not gonna help me clean out the temple, but... That is very helpful. I just saw an arrow pass by my face and it even spelled that- Yeah, once again, it spells out arrow. <laughs> because I can- I can technically pick it up as an object. Is there like an off button in the cemetery? Or will it just run out of corpses at some point? Uh, solar powered cemetery. I think it's body powered. I don't think it's. I don't know how can it produce things infinitely without the materials required to make bodies. let them <laughs> I'm gonna let them do their work and I'm gonna go and try and dis disable the temple At least I got the ones shooting at me. I'm so gonna run out of healing plants. And then all I will have will be healing potions and then I will be a sad cookie. Okay, do you have a finite amount of things or do you have an off button? This is important. I am literally not currently fighting my way down through, I'm- I'm glitching my way down through. I have not saved during the glitch run. Cause I just wanna see how deep this goes, and if it has an off button. Uh. 
If the answer is deep, and I can't see the off button, which might mean that we just need to fight all the way down there. Which is okay, I suppose. That's a lot of undead. I did not expect it to have that much undead, but then again, we did one of those graveyards in Nordbar, and that had a lot of undead too. Your three skeletons. Broken. Broken. Do you mean the one that had um ogres and goblins and stuff? It. That was a very insane cave, too. <laughs> I know of at least one cave that would take over an hour to clear. I was told by that about that in a different stream. I forgot by which person it might have been One Eyed King. Um. He said on a magic dealer it was full of orcs and that they took like over an hour to clear as a magic dealer. <laughs> I'm pulling as many of them as possible towards the orcs. These ones are just zombies, though. Yeah, it's friggin' full of everything. It's honestly skeletons that I would like the orcs to take more. Because considering that I cannot just arrow them from afar... They're a lot more annoying. It would also be a lot more annoying if orcs suddenly decided to turn around and go home. Two more. I swear I thought that there was gonna be more than this. We did see one skeleton. Oh my! Where did you come from? <laughs> Thanks, love. <laughs> I wasn't questioning your spontaneous appearance. <laughs> there we go, now the skeleton's sufficiently engaged. No, the fact that there was a zombie at the entrance... Wonder does that mean that they're actually sort of respawning? I hope not.
I really hope not. Ah yes, the good old zombie that I left. And another few. Oh, bunch actually. Like skeletons, for the most part, I can just slowly walk backwards until I put myself in the goddamn corner. Can't have that. Unless, of course, we like death. Like, close enough to hit me. I don't like that that throws off my aim. More Q goals. Good chance to make sure that YouTube stays connected. Weird issue to be having, but then again, Restream did prompt me saying that they have a... updated version? Of their chat program, and that they're gonna be moving everyone to it, and that you won't be able to use the old one. So, don't know if I have the new one or the old one. I think I'll be doing lasagna tonight. Uh oh, I got confused where is up and where is down. Okay, that's down. Good. hair in my mouth, but I'm too busy fighting zombies to take it out. Yay! <laughs> Level up! Oh, I hope that you like food in general. You're a, you're a very speedy skeleton, right? You know what we do with skeletons? We give them to the orcs. Just follow me. Continue following. There we go! All of the orcs are engaged with skeletons once again. Which means we don't have to worry about them. Don't have to worry about orcs spreading away or... You know, skeletons. Because I don't want them to go away, I want them to stick around. And just in case I want their unwilling cooperation. <coughs> ah! Okay, um, that is the fire mage room. That is indeed the fire mage room. Seems to be quite the army. Yes, continue. Moving with me, please. <clears throat> Both of you. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yeah, making me dirt. Time for this one to die because I brought you a new one. Have fun. And now down we go again. There should be about half a dozen zombies just kind of zombying towards us. Unless, of course, they forgot that we existed. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. That is a magician. And they hurt. They might be following us. I think? Oh, they are. They are. I suppose that fireball was a dead giveaway. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> dead. Get it. That's the magician. And he's called Yugo. Like, Yoohoo! <laughs> ah! It's time to move slightly faster. Is Hugo still approaching? Sorta. Come on. Yeah, making me dirt. Oh god, that's so many undead. Oh, well, Yugo's currently engaged, so we can just collect some stuff. I mean, that's not very nice to the orcs, but nobody said that we have to be very nice to the orcs. They are our mortal enemies, after all. However, I did do what they told me. I haven't made them go into the temple. I just made everyone from the temple come outside. <laughs> Which means that technically... Yeah, see? They didn't have to go anywhere to... Clear the undead temple. The undead temple came out to clear with them. Made it! The evil has been defeated. You showed courage, Mora. You've got honor. Here, take this. You will need it. Thank you. I like life forcey things. Still some loot in that temple, though.
I wonder if it has a chest at the end. I think most temples do. The game's way of going. You made it! Hooray! Those shiny rocks are also very convenient because half the caves in like Gothic 2 do not have them. Nope, it seems like for getting to this room you get absolutely nothing. So that's nice to know. Okay, so good. He went to Benarai. Um, yeah, I do have a torch. Like, does not take out a torch me. <laughs> Let's see. At least I think I do have a torch. I pick them up sometimes, and I very rarely actually put them, you know... There we go. Ah, my shadow. There we go, no chest. The big empty room. I was just gonna pop from here back to... ...the other place. Now let's remove these and let's put Vensala... ...and then right onto our thingy. But yeah, um... There's Sugut that's supposed to be walking towards Benarai, or maybe is in Benarai, that we need to kill. I should probably tell Daro, I'm gonna guess, that the undead are done. And then there's Basir, who's somewhere. Port! We may as well just restore our health and reset the day, so that we can see again. Now, first of all, Daro. I'm pretty sure that all I need to do with him is to tell him that everything's done. I don't know, it was outside here. It was outside Bensala, it was, um, big. I've been to the temple. So, evil has been conquered. We are in your debt. Go to Julio and tell him this wonderful news. He will pay back our debt to you. I'm pretty sure that Julio is just behind you. And I kept on calling him Julio. I believe your town is safe once again. Thanks a hundred times, Father of Fortitude. I knew it. The moment I saw you, I knew. This man is going to save us. Yeah, yeah, just stop it. Enough said. <laughs> Let me shower you with gold, then! I mean, there was a lot of kugels that fell from the zombie corpses. Now something, something, something.
Something something Basir is evil and then something something A guy that whose name starts with an S is evil as well. And both deserve to die. So that's nice. I found some robbers, but they just had the goods. The goods of the merchant. We followed the road to Ben Arai. We may find... ...the person whose name starts with S, because he's supposed to be headed there. He may have already reached there, but we don't know yet. I may have even met him, but I wouldn't have memorized his name. Philanthropist programs detected in com server 04. Thank you. <laughs> That's really nice of you. Okay, um... That's just... That doesn't look like anyone whose name might start with a nest. That that looks like bugs. That most definitely looks like bugs. And some flowers. Must have forgot to pick them up. The king's thistles are especially good. It's kind of weird for me to miss them. That, I mean, assuming that we will find other potion ingredients for making strength and dexterity potions. Okay, I'm now pretty much at Lagos and I have not seen anyone who name starts with Ness. Gonna bypass Lagos. We're gonna go all the way to Ben Arai by foot, just in case we missed anyone on the road. Otherwise, we're gonna search the area. Is that a more King's Thistles? Yes, yes, that is. How did I miss this? I didn't miss the Minecrawler cave. Three green plants in the desert look like they're kind of hard to miss. And just in case, once again, we're reconnecting the YouTube chat because sometimes, sometimes, YouTube goes stupid. So I just, I just make sure that it's connected. There we go! Okay, mashed potatoes and mushroom with sauce. That sounds really, really tasty. <laughs> and thank you for watching and I hope that you enjoy your evening and in case you are already gone I hope that you hear this at some point probably when the video airs which considering that we're streaming directly to YouTube shouldn't be that far away Okay, any of you have any inhabitants whose name starts with SS? Sue. Sue, 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 Sue. Very Sue, Sue, Sue. I'm taking a short break. Sancho is not the Sue, Sue that I was looking for. Ah, you betrayed me, you miserable dog. You made me look bad. Let me tell you. Yes, what? Ah, nothing. Oh yeah, I forgot that we told him all about his plan. I mean, we told Sancho. Hello, do you know anyone named Susu Su? No, okay. 
Well, in that case, this is this is about the point where we Google. Sugut. It is a Sugut. I say that we Google because the last time I spent a lot of time in the desert trying to find people. He's an oasis? Oh, wait. Oh, no. Don't tell me. Don't tell me that I have already done a quest for him. Because there were some people in an oasis and they were like, Look, can you kill... Those nomads over there. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'm looking for some nomads. It's perfect time to actually do the killing. Because they wanted to stay in the oasis. It was somewhere in the middle of the desert. Very great location, I know. Probably that giant thing. There's not a lot of oasises in this direction in general, so... That's probably a pretty good guess. Yes, that's the oasis I thought about. I think, I think that these will be the same people. I can't be sure, but I think they will be. They're still here, that is. Yes! Yes, there are still here. Eight warrior, hashishi, hashishi. Sugut! We found our Sugut. You stole the ore blanks. And so what? What are you going to do about it? Tell me what you did with the ore blanks. I sold them a long time ago. Oh. Beat it. Otherwise, I'll have to hurt you. Who is your partner? Ha! <laughs> He left long ago. He knows every hideout in the desert, and has plenty of friends in Morasul. You'll never find him again. Morasul, huh? So what? I won't help you at all. Write it down if you like. He left the city long ago anyway, and don't- Everything happened so long ago! Simplicity. So long ago. Very, very long ago. And now, I am terribly- Sorry. Put away your weapon. No. Would you stop that? <clears throat> stop right there, you coward. No, I would get you in the ass. <clears throat> stop right there, you dog. Ah. Well, that's one. That's another. Face them. Ooh, max life energy. I like that. Okay, save. Might not be the best place for saving, but save nonetheless. Shoot once, run. Shoot again, run. Kinda may be good that I actually done the quests for them before I killed them. Well, their bodies are most definitely left there for the for the vultures. Some money. Two magic ore blanks. Not all the orc blanks or ore blanks. <laughs> um, I think it's slowly descending from the day sky. 
I think that's what's happening. Yeah, it's kind of shining off the curtain a little bit. Ah, uh, can I? I never knew that. Maybe I can. I I would normally like left click on them and stuff. No, I can't. You're telling me I can't collect all that food. I mean, look at all the bread loaves. There is a place that wants bread off me. And I never had enough. Well, rather, I ate like half of them. Half of my bread before they issued that command. That's why I never had enough. They don't have any ore blanks on them. Oh, that's nice to know. Um, I'll try to remember that. I can't guarantee that I will. I seem to have issues with remembering things sometimes. Now let's see. Basir. Basir, 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 Basir. Basir, Basir. We found Sagut. Where the hell is Basir? Do you sit inside? Oh yeah, place of residence, Ben Sala. He is in there somewhere. No, wait, 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 wait. That was when he was where he was born. Okay, he's in Montara. We probably have a porting stone. We did do a quest for him. And while he is a person, and I don't like killing people, at the same time, I'm just not too fond of the desert people. I mean, they trade in slaves and human slaves. So they're not super nice. I mean, I don't think that any of them would like me killing anyone, though. But we'll see. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Hey folks, there's right a fight. Now. I know, man, I know. He goes on like that. Come on. Stop right there, you dog. We're, we're heading far away from wherever anyone can see me, okay? Basir! Nobody gets away from me! Yes, perfect! Follow me out of the town, please. Out of the town. Cool. You can you can actually fast fast loot with a right click. Nice to know. <laughs> so I can save and I can go all the way back to Bensala. And just tell them that everybody who needed to die has in fact died. It 
wasn't you who wanted people dead? I have a bad feeling that it's Erzo and Erzo just wandered off. And I'm not too sure that he ever came back. Oh yes, yes he did. Good. Okay, it's not you. One of you wanted people dead. One of you. The deal is completed. Bazir is dead. And Beliar's power continues to grow. I will see to it that the word gets out. I have dealt with Sugurt. Excellent. Let him stew in Beliar's realm for his sacrilege. You have I'm not a fan of Beliar, what? but I do like my XP. Good goal. So Ben Sala is now officially done. Let's see, what is left? We have La Kamesh, Mora Sul, and Ishtar. And I believe Ishtar is the last location that we want to be in. That is a temple. So there's also two more temples in this desert. From what I can see. Last time I identified them as rocks. They're not rocks. They are in fact temples. So when we come back, we are gonna be visiting Lakesh. If there's enough to do, we're gonna be staying around Lakesh. Otherwise, we're gonna be going back to Morasul. And hopefully, it's gonna be an earlier stream. At a times when I normally stream and my computer will not overheat and explode. Either way, thank you for joining today, everybody. It was very nice to have you all company. And hopefully, see you on... Probably Monday? I wanna say the next stream is Monday. Tomorrow I'll be doing a bit of recording stuff. Just so that I have more videos and stuff. So yeah, see you next time. And yeah, see ya. And thank you. Have a nice evening too.